welcome back to Skyrim part 12. In this episode we're going to be doing the Jagged Crown and I think that is over in this direction. Yeah. So we are doing the Imperial storyline. I, I don't know if I'm going to stick with them or not. But this mission will be the deciding factor because after this mission, whoever you turn the crown into, you stick with for the rest of the game. But I can save the cat. Don't attack me! Or your soul will be mine. Oh, thank you. Oh, giant cannon. It. Right, I'm gonna save right here and then attack this giant camp. Let's see if I can take it. I'm gonna die. Okay. Uh, okay. I get you. No, not as Maris. Fuck it. You got him. <laughs> That's so fucking scary. just landed on me. Turns out I can take this camp if I can kill them separately. I don't really need anything from them. I just wanted to show you. To be honest, I was expecting him to hit me and I was going to go flying into the air, but... What's the Good situation? to see you, my friend. I knew you'd make a proper legionnaire. I'm glad you'll be with me in there. I don't like the looks of this place. And I'm not talking about the storm cloaks. You too, huh? I'd much rather a straight up fight than creeping around a place like this. But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. We'll do our duty no matter what stands in our way, right? Storm cloaks were already camped out around the entrance when we got here. They don't know we're here yet. Well, that's something, at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Follow me. Listen up, Legionnaires. Those Stormcloaks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the Pretender, wants that crown. But we're not going to let him have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this, they are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the Jagged Crown and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. Let's go, you've got those. Let's see. 
They were pretty easy to kill. Nice. Never knew what hit them. But don't underestimate the Stormcloaks. Many are Legion veterans. They may be traitors, but they know how to fight. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but don't expect it to last. Let's move out. Yeah, see, I don't seem to be taking as much damage, so it must have been the helmet. In the last episode, I was mentioning how I, I took quite a lot of damage and all. But <laughs> you two, stay and guard the entrance. We don't want any Stormcloak reinforcements taking us by surprise. Everyone else, with me. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through, Legate. Let's not jump to conclusions, soldier. The Legion always finds a way. I'd rather take a moment and look around than walk blindly into an ambush. Auxiliary, see if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting.
This must be the Hall of Stories. Oh, I've heard of this. Mm. These walls are supposed to show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time, soldier. Focus on our primary mission. We're searching for the crown. I mean, they look awesome. Looks like we weren't the first ones here either. Even if these carvings tell us where the crown is, I'm sure we're going to have to find a way through this door. Hmm, what is that? Some kind of stone? Oof. Drag another ball. And I will tap the top. I wonder what it's used for. Good job. I know what I'm doing. All right, everyone, keep your guard up. Let's move out. Why is it my job? Why can't I wait around like you guys so that you're just standing there? There was three. Well, uh, four. The crown should be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open.
we'll stay here. And see if we can find anything else that could be of use. Go fiddling with any... I used to be... There's not much up there, but if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Ulfric wary and wasting troops garrisoned at home. Excellent work, soldier. I have to admit, I had my doubts it even existed. Did you run into any trouble? That's not for you to decide, soldier. I wouldn't have sent you in the first place if it wasn't going to be worth it. Now then, I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Balgruf of Whiterun. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. The Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only. Gods watch over your battles, friend. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it! I see. Give the papers to my steward. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Hmm. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelath. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. <clears throat> Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. Rorik's debts are nice and enough in Hamlet, but a boring a few post legionnaires for a guard. Die in place if of a dragon attacks, name. well, then it'd be a Please different cow. story. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about the gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. Men who understand one another need not waste words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. 
true. He's a dangerous and bloodthirsty man. But he's also a Nord. Keep your wits about, and then get back here. Because if Ulfric isn't blood, good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Now Are we writing a letter, mind. Lord? I've got a s yes, to General Tullius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires. Hmm. I don't like either of these wars, but... You done? <laughs> yes. Make it quick. Is that so? I've been wondering when you come around. Oh. What's this? Ah. You're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without You're gonna lose the this battle, mate. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. Sooner than you think. I really hope when I get to the point, it's going to be amazing. We're back to here. There's a lot of back and forth. Returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. Ulfric Stormcloak's head on a pike. Do you think Ulfric really cares about Skyrim's independence or the welfare of its people? I promise you, he doesn't. He's nothing more than a barbarian renegade whose lust for power has cost the lives of countless innocents. Okay. Now, Sir, if you don't mind, I a... I've got a trouble to do. <sighs> Take a moment to breathe, soldier. But, uh, sir. Breathe. The outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there. They have catapults. Damn it. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just Father says I'm too young to change the sword, so I practice with my fists. Water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it! What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. 
They'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I tried. This is it. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Move it, soldier. Spread the word. Go, go, go! Oblivion, take them. Every miserable last one of them. The storm cloaks are here. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. Divine must blessing. hold the city. May the ground Move you it. walk quake you. Get inside, you moron. We will make this country whole again. Ready now! Everyone with me! For the Empire! For the Legion! Give up while you 
still can. Didn't even get in. No, everything's on fire. Get nervous. Something to report? By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I'm promoting you to Quester. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Rika will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. God be with you. Nice. There's not much up there, but if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Alfred wary and wasting troops garrison. of Ravenscar Hollow, cave on the island to the west. The place is a roost for those foul hag ravens. I'm guessing we're going to be attacking Dawnstar in the next one because it's right next to it. Right, thank you for watching everyone. That was us fully uh, going with the Legion um, and yeah defending right white run from the storm cloaks thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye